Now, this is the longest I, that any panel I know has existed without Quentin Tarantino saying something. <laughs> I would, I would, uh, one, one thing I love Quentin about is he's the antithesis of a techie director. I mean, he even writes his first drafts in longhand. Do, do you, do, Avatar is indeed a game changer. Do you think that you will leave your genre-oriented directing and try a movie that is technologically more arresting? What, just because he did in 3D? <laughs> <laughs> Andre de Toff did that, too. <laughs> uh, um, uh, uh, here, here's actually what I will... Uh, let me actually... Uh, let me address that specifically, because... Um, I'll tell you what would have been a game changer, as far as I was concerned, if I had seen Avatar before I had done Kill Bill. Uh, because, I mean, not that I would want to do it on blue screens or anything like that. I would have done it the way I wanted to do it. But uh, one of the things I was thinking when I was watching Avatar was when I did Kill Bill, I had these grandiose visions in my head of the experience of watching the movie. And I actually wanted it to be more like a ride than, uh, than just a normal watching a movie at a cineplex and then you go home and you have pie. And, um, <laughs> and I just had this, you would be in this world and it would be a ride. And I don't think I did that. All right, I, I think the closest may be the House of the Leaves sequence, or maybe the Coffin sequence. But I didn't do it exactly the, my, in my own most grandiose visions of, of what I could have done. I don't think it was the ride. It was good, and I, I, actually probably the thing I've done I'm the most proud of stuff. But uh, it, it wasn't quite the ride in my most vision. And when I saw Avatar, I go, that's the ride. That's the ride I was trying to do. That was the ride in my head when I was spending a year and a half writing the script. <laughs>